All right, welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live on this Tuesday morning. Well, all it feels like we talk about here on the show is the chip shortage, the problems that this is causing across industries. But meanwhile, actual chip makers are forging ahead with some next-gen products. Yahoo Finance's Dan Halley covering the tech space for us joins us for these details. Halley, of course, um, again, as I mentioned, it seems like governments, you know, executives, industry leaders all say we don't have enough chips. Um, meanwhile, AMD and NVIDIA forging ahead with uh, their next-gen products focused either at the desktop and then in NVIDIA's case on a new gaming chip. Yeah, this is basically them saying, we'll get through this at some point. Uh, NVIDIA and AMD coming out with big new products. Uh, the Computex show uh, out in Taipei. Uh, NVIDIA, first off, they announced a few new graphics cards. Uh, we have the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti and the RTX 3070 Ti. These are for uh, going into a desktop class computer. Uh, you would use this to either game, uh, hopefully, or, you know, crypto mining. Uh, but they have been cutting down on the ability for some of these systems to mine. Uh, I think one of the important things to point out here uh, is price. So the 3080 Ti will cost you $1,200 for a card that goes into your computer, which is still cheaper than the 3090. Uh, that will cost you around fourteen, fifteen hundred. dollars uh, 1500 Obviously, you have to be a huge enthusiast to get one of those into your computers. The second level, a little more palatable, uh, the 3070 Ti, that is $599. And those are going to be the cards that gamers kind of tend to jump at. Uh, I have a 2070 uh, Super in my computer. I want one of these TI cards, um, but I'm going to have to save up a little bit for it, obviously. Uh, they also talked about the performance of these. Much faster than prior generations, obviously, that you know that goes without saying, uh, but two times faster uh, as far as uh, the older uh, generation, uh, The uh, that would be the 1080 TI for the 3080 TI, uh, and the same thing goes for the 1070 and the 3070. Uh, I also want to talk, though, about AMD because they also – announced a couple of chips there uh, at Taipei. They had an uh, announcement saying that basically they are working now with Tesla. Uh, the Model X and the Model S will now have some of their Ryzen processors built into the infotainment system. So that's huge for AMD. Obviously, you're not going to see the kind of levels they may see uh, if they were in uh, a larger scale automaker. But still, the fact that they're in such a marquee brand like Tesla says something for AMD. Uh, they also announced the 5000 G series desktop chip. Uh, that's something that's important again for gamers. Essentially, AMD was just dumping all over Intel, uh, basically saying that they blow them away as far as performance in a number of different categories. And they really have been eating Intel's lunch as far as performance goes. But Intel is still the market leader, the industry leader, and the name uh, recognition there. So I, I don't know if AMD is ever going to overtake. I mean, I doubt they'll ever overtake Intel, but they are eating into their market share in a number of ways, not just in the consumer area, but also in the business area when we talk about those data center computers. Uh, and then they announced as well some new uh, gaming laptops that are running their 6000M series mobile graphics. Uh, NVIDIA also made an announcement, by the way, about uh, bringing AI to more people, uh, more companies, by basically setting up a certification program where they can certify some data centers uh, and allow those to really do some of the AI work that AMD is known for, uh, sorry, NVIDIA is known for uh, with its chips. So uh, overall, big announcements from these companies. And yeah, we're talking about the chip shortage nonstop. Uh, that doesn't seem to be slowing them down at all. I think they recognize that at some point it will be sorted out. Uh, but I think if you're a person that's trying to get one of these desktop chips uh, for uh, AMD or uh, one of the cards from NVIDIA, you may have a hard time looking for them, especially for those gaming cards, uh, because a lot of the crypto miners go in there and they just suck them up right away. Uh, and then for people who want them for gaming, the original purpose, they're kind of left hanging in the bag. Hey, Dan, really quickly, um, is there any reason why NVIDIA would be down on this announcement? We saw those AMD shares were up. I mean, what's the sort of business proposition of these new NVIDIA chips? The, the big thing about these NVIDIA chips is they really are for gaming. Uh, I think that's one of the big things. And obviously, you know, we talk about the data center for uh, NVIDIA, but gaming is still the breadwinner for that company. We talk about uh, the automotive side, that's gaining. Uh, we talk about the data, uh, data visualizations, things like that, that's gaining as well. But gaming is still the number one uh, breadwinner for that company. So I think that, you know, the idea that these chips are coming out, uh, that's great news. Whether or not you'll be able to get them that's another story. I think uh, we also uh, look at the data center. That AI news, very good for the data center business. Uh, if they can get more people using some of those certified uh, 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 data center computers, then that's going to be big for NVIDIA. Uh, they're really gaining uh, on you know the, the idea that AI 
is huge. So uh, they kind of go back and forth with Intel uh, as far as uh, competition. But I think for AMD, you know, if they're not able to compete as well uh, in the space that uh, NVIDIA has been dominating, uh, that could be a problem, though. They are reaching into there as well. All right, Yahoo Finance is Dan Halley with the latest on the innovation pipeline from AMD and NVIDIA, and of course, the continued availability challenges for both of those companies.